That's what you were digging for. Excuse me. You would start. Hey, uh, Castleback said he saw a male black in his 30s either kicking out car windows or kicking out a car. What's up, man? How you doing? No weapons on you, right? Eh? No. Not like that. You don't mind me patting you down real quick? Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Where are you living at? Uh, yeah, the guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 44 South of Hancock with the guy coming. 2312. Direction 2314. Are you trying to kick in your window or something? No, I ain't touching it. Do me a favor and just take a seat right there for me. You don't have a reason for me? Because they uh, said it was you. No, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to kick Were you no mad way. at something? Huh? Were you mad at something? No, I'm cool. Yeah. That is the wife down there. Yeah. And I guess there's an RO good place. That's why you don't know where she lives? No, I told you she's living in the building, but she, and that's her car. So I have, I have to, I'm going to check and see if it's valid. Yeah, Reagan's checking right now. Has he got a valid RO? Uh, yes. And all we have is a dark colored pickup on the off ramp. Long as it has a flare out. There you go. Yeah. What? Well, I didn't come over here. Put your hand come over Put here, man. Come on, man. I did not come over here. Man, got me cooked. Hand behind your back. Hand behind your back. Taser. Finger. Finger. Hand behind your back. Okay, blood. Hitting you? No. There you go. Hang on, hang on. His shirt's in the way. His shirt's in the way. Hang on. No, I bump. Relax. 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 Oh, man. So bring these up. All right, we're going to stand you up. Use this, use this leg. <laughs> roll, up, roll up to your feet. Copy, tack two. Oh! You'll be all right, man. Why, man? I... Yeah, well, these things happen, all right? Go on now, Steve. Go and take you a seat, give, man. You can give her the bag. Okay. Okay. We can do that for you. What's in the bag? A phone. Is it hers? I gave you it to you. have it. Okay. All right, we can do that for you, man. I have a restraining yeah. order against yeah. him, and he was trying to entice me to come down and talk to him. Yeah. And I have voicemails. He, he, he was threatening that he was going to tear, tear up and break the windows on the car. And I live here, so I just watched out the, the window. Is on that the your car? Um, actually, it's my boyfriend's car. Oh, so okay. it's not personally my car, but 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 what he did... knows that. he knows that. And my boyfriend is not here right this second, so. Uh -huh. What did you see him doing? Um, actually, I just heard it. The dents in the front weren't, weren't done, but this here is all from him. That's all from him right yeah. there? Yeah. Well, this isn't as bad as it could have been. I'm just yeah. glad that's not me. Just that side? Just, just that side right there by the um, back huh. door. And he had been threatening to bust the windows and kick in the car and whatnot. Hey, Lavelle. I mean, what happened was that somebody called and saw you kicking on the car there. So that's why we're here. We didn't even know she was involved until we got here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what you're going to jail for, restraining order violation. You know, you knew you, knew you weren't supposed to be here. Is that right? I mean, she she said she took it off last on Friday on Thursday. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I didn't know I had a restraining order. I mean, she told me she took it off. Well, let me ask you this: and why did what happened when you uh why'd you try running then? Well, I really didn't try running. You guys is fifty deep, man. Yeah. I was just mad, frustrated. Let me ask you: can you explain the footprint on the door? I know I didn't kick the door. Okay, let me explain this. Can you explain your footprint on the door? I didn't kick the door. Okay, what about the window? I didn't touch the window. I okay. mean, she came down and we were sitting in the car. You understand that when we when the restraining order pops up and you're over here at her residence, that our hands are tied. It's a mandatory arrest. All right, we got to do what we got to do, and we'll go from there. Oh, okay, I asked you if there was anything in the vehicle, okay? So you would pass a drug test right now? 
He would? Maybe. I'm Maybe. Here. All right, this vehicle just passed the stereo system real loud, so we're going to stop and find out what's going on with him. Hey, how's it going? Good. The reason I stopped you is when you guys passed me back there on Brocka, I could feel your bass. I do apologize. You do apologize? I normally don't have it up that loud. Oh, okay. Do you have your driver's license I can see real fast? And oh, okay. You can hang on to that. And All right. There's nothing in the vehicle that I should know about, right? No. Okay. Why don't you guys do me a favor? Just sit tight. And I'll be right back with you, okay? Not a problem. William. Yes, sir. Let me open this door real fast. Why don't you step out for me? You ain't got no warrants, do you? Uh, no, sir. Okay, you ain't got nothing on you I need to know about, right? No, sir. Could you do me a favor and just stand over there real fast for me? You ain't got nothing in the vehicle, right? No, sir. Oh, you don't mind if I look around for a minute or anything like that? What are you digging for over here? Huh? I was looking for my registration. Okay. Oh! That's what you were digging for. Okay, don't, don't keep putting your hands back in there, okay? Okay, I asked you if there was anything in the vehicle, okay? What is this? It's pot. It's pot? Whose pot is this? That's probably mine. Okay. All right. All right, step out of the car for me, okay? Put your hands behind your back. Okay. You're now under arrest, okay, for possession of cannabis. As long as you're honest with me from now on, okay, we can probably work something out, okay? What I want you to do is, I want you to stay calm, okay? Are you able to sit down for me? Is this your boyfriend? Oh, yeah, there is a little bit more, huh? Well, what we have here is getting a closer closer to the amount of a felony amount of marijuana. Um, and we got several individually wrapped bags. So I'll put this with the other stuff here and continue our search and see what else we can find. What is it? It's a Lord Codone. All right, where did you get your prescription filled at? Because before you answer this question, I'm going to call the pharmacy. I'm going to call Walgreens and, and find out if they did prescribe you hydrocodone or whatever this is. Why don't you carry them in your prescription bottle? Well, I mean, I figured just in case, like, whenever I go out to work and stuff, if I need them, I mean, I don't like having them all on me. Okay. How much do you think that is? Over 20. Over 20? All right, why don't you do me a favor and sit up, stand up? Uh, I need help. Okay, I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. All right, do you have anything else on you? No. You gonna stick nothing in your pants or anything like that? No. Okay, let's walk this way and walk over to this deputy's car over here, please. You got her? You know she smokes marijuana? Yes, sir, I do, and she knows that she's not supposed to be riding around with me and the pants. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna lift up your hat. All right. All right, so you, you basically don't like the fact that she smokes marijuana? Yeah. Okay, and you're trying to get her to quit? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes, sir. Okay. So you would pass a drug test right now if I if I gave you one? Yeah. You would? Maybe. I mean, Maybe? I mean, All right. I'm around here. Somehow I seriously doubt that. Just keep sitting tight for me, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Now, basically, you're going to be arrested for the possession of the cannabis. It looks like it's going to be over 20 grams, so it's going to be a felony amount. And then I have to I have to look into the uh, the prescription a little bit more. But if you if you can prove that you did have a prescription, but you know you can't carry it like that, okay? Because we we still found pills on the floorboard, so there were some in your purse, all over your car. That's just not the safe and responsible way to carry your medication. All right, do you have any questions for me? Uh, how long am I gonna go to jail for? What's that? How long am I gonna? You're gonna go to jail tonight, okay? You'll have a bond of a thousand dollars, okay? And if you can't bond out tonight, you'll see the judge first thing in the morning at 9.15. All right, don't worry. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to, to help you through this. So just do me a favor. Just sit tight, and we'll be, I'll be right back with you. Yeah, that's not a well, just give me one second. We can get to that. Just stay calm. Weighed out to about 27 grams. Wow, that's okay. She got. So it's definitely a felony amount then. Yes. Okay. Right above 20. Well, you know, that's a lot of weed for, you know, her saying that she didn't have anything in the car to begin with. He was inside of his truck when you left him inside my truck. He was inside your truck? I was straight. No, you're not straight. Yes, I was. Sitting here acting like a jerk. you. See, there you go. Just got a call of a uh, possible...
car burglary in progress. Some people were eating and they came out and confronted a, uh, a guy who was sitting in their car, probably burglarizing. In the north parking lot. Uh... Parking lot number 1. Hi. We came out at dinner uh -huh. and they were trying to break into my dad's truck. Who was? Get this guy. This guy? Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I know you don't. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good, dude. Good. Hey, don't you grab for me. Excuse me. Man. You start. See, dude, I'm not grabbing for you, man. Daddy, come on. Thanks. Oh. Officers, the red yeah. car back there is with them. The red car back there. That one right there. Which one? That one right there. That one? Daddy, stop. I'm not going to who saw these guys uh, trying to break his truck? He was inside of his truck when you went to get inside my truck. He was inside your truck? No, let me get up, man. Stand up. Give me one on one. OK. That's ridiculous, dude. Really? Yeah. Wait, you know what? Not wait, nothing. Oh. You wait. Stop trying to fight. Watch my finger, Stop dude. Resisting. My bad's ad, man. Now you need to start cooperating. You understand that? Yeah. OK. I'm asking you nicely. You're not asking me anything. Yes, sir, I am. Get in the car. Please, man. OK, get in the car. Get the car. I'm get asking car. you nicely, dude. OK, get in the car. I'm asking you nicely, too. You're a chicken <laughs> Well, you're going to jail. How's that? Let go of me. Do you want to get pepper spray? Let go of me. You relax. Let go of me. You're going to relax? Uh, yes, sir. Good. Look at me. Look at me. What? I am asking you straight, dude. What's up? There's no reason for you to ask me like that. Look at me. Let me tell you something. I straight up, man. Let me I was tell you something. Straight. Let me tell you something. Yes, sir. We come out here, police officer, I grab you, and you want to tense up and start to fight. But that is straight. So what's going to happen is you're going to get put to the ground like you just did. But listen to me. I was straight. No, you're, you're not straight. Yes, I Sitting was. Sitting here acting like a jerk. You. See, there you go. Yeah. I would not be fighting for no reason. We're trying sir. to find out why numerous people who don't know you are saying that you were inside this guy's truck. Look, honestly, yeah. I might have had too much to drink, but I would I agree never, with you there. I would never steal for someone that is trying to earn a hard living. Seriously. Okay. Because I know the way it is. Okay. Honestly. So these people that don't know you, you don't know why they're oh, saying okay, you're in their right? car? You, they're, they're all lying. No, they're probably not lying. They're just... So you may have been in the truck now, or you weren't in the truck? I honestly don't remember. Seriously. All right, give me a few minutes. We'll figure out what's going on, OK? Yes. Yeah, these guys saw him physically assault yeah. the victim over here. The, the old guy? guy? The guy, the old guy. What did he do? What did they say he did to him? Assault him, physically assault him. I guess not. And then, I guess, he tried to intervene, and okay. then he tried to assault him as well. OK, let me talk to him. Thanks. Sir, did this gentleman try to hit you? Yeah, he did. Yes. He tried to hit me, too. He had to try to hit, and did he try to hit you as well, sir? Yeah. No, he just threatened me. OK, what did he say to you? I saw Adolfo and this gentleman wrestling uh, right at the door like he was trying to get him out of the truck. OK. So he got him out of the truck, and immediately the guy started mouthing off to him and started pushing him. So I drove over here as fast as I could. And when I got here, the guy kind of backed off of Adolfo and didn't start. he wasn't pushing him anymore. And he um, started talking crap. And then as we got out of the car, I think he swung at him and kind of hit him in the chest. So he was just sitting inside of the doors inside. closed. Was he in the driver's seat? Yes. And yes. did it look like he was trying to? Try to open the. Turn it on. The trying to turn it on? Yes. Why, why are you doing my truck? Oh, this is mine. He said it was his truck? Yes. OK. He said, no, it's mine. Mm -hmm. And so I, I came around and opened the door and I said, hey, get out of my truck. No. And so he come out and tried to push me. And I go back and back. Did he and try to push you or did he push you? No. He, he tried, tried to? to push, okay. Yeah, but uh, he don't oh touch me. He tried to. Okay, great. This guy's in jail for the night, so we'll, ho we'll, we'll hopefully we'll keep it that way for you guys. Well, thanks okay. For All right. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, Happy birthday to you too. <laughs> yeah, sorry that happened to you. Uh, Glad okay. you guys are okay and safe, though. Oh, yeah, Thank you very much. Okay. Please help me. Get down, please. Get down. Get back. Hit, please. Come through the window. Hit me in the face. Back up, back up. We're en route to a large fight. Subjects are throwing beer bottles and rocks, and one subject might be armed with a knife.
more. Get your arms out. Two minute whites, no shirts. I believe in jean shorts. You're not under arrest. Go, go, okay. Where are they at? He ain't got nothing to do with. I wasn't doing nothing but walking right through that alley. Take Peter. Take Peter, I need you to sit up. What's going on? Why don't you tell us the truth? I come around right there. I seen all kinds of people running around. I had beef with somebody up there earlier, but that was like maybe 8:30. Beef up with who? I don't know his name. Some dude. He was uh making passes on my sister, or whatever. And I ain't like it. She come and got me. Like she told me what was going on. <clears throat> Said that he tried to kiss her or whatever. And he's 26, 27 something years old. Where's your sister at? Uh, she should be over there somewhere. What was going on up there? OK, he grabbed me and kissed me like four times, and I didn't ask him to. Okay. And I told my brother about it. My brother got mad, and so he wanted to fight with me. Okay. So whatever, I was going to let that happen. And then, uh. Was that earlier tonight? Yeah, it was earlier okay. tonight. So what was going on up there now, why we're here right now? Now, I don't know. My brother called his peoples, and they went up there. I told him to stop because there was kids in the house that they was going to. There were seven kids up there in that house. I told him to stop, for real, for real. And they. Just did what they did. All right, just hang tight right here. Okay. Yep. You mind stepping over here for me? Well, well, how did this all happen? All this happened, some girl named Jerrica come over. All right, was playing out. She sat on my lap, gave me a kiss. I figured, yeah, all right, you know, cool. It was chilling. Go over here. You guys mind backing uh, up for me? She kissed it. me again. I kissed her back. She said, don't kiss me. I'm like, all right, you know. I come out here, I'm eating. And then uh, these people are like, hey, hey, this dude wants to talk to you. I'm like, well, I don't know who dude is, all right. So he comes up this way. We turn around this way, walking down part of this alley. I meet my food, and I'm like, yeah. And he says something like, that was my sister. I was like, who, Jerrica? I was like, yeah. I was like, she's a nice girl. I like her. How long have you known her? Uh, a couple days. A couple days, OK. I was like, look, man, if you really want to fight, I was like, we'll do this. But I'm telling you why. I was like, it's stupid. You want to fight over her, some dumb I was like, you want to do it? Let's do it. Tell us how or when that you got in your When was I was inside. Don't know what I was doing. All I heard was somebody run through here. Yo, 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 there's a group of them coming, they're coming. And I, I start hearing things breaking, people throwing stuff at the house. So I walk outside. My Do stepsis, you live here? Yeah. Is this your house? My okay. stepsis is already at the gate saying, uh, uh, get out, get out of my yard. You know, going off the hook, telling them, get out the yard. So, and then all of us come around. And then it was like 20 of them. So I'm breaking down the gate, trying to climb over, trying to get through the gate. This Wait, side, break the window with the chair with the rock here. Good guess. It looks like the chair because the okay. leg print right here. The okay. leg's going in and breaking all of that back there. All right. The brick would have done so much damage. I think the brick might have hit down here or something. Wait for him to come in. I would have, never mind what I would have done. But Did they break the window first or did they kick the door in first? The windows first. The windows first? Okay. We've got. I believe three adults went to jail and two or three juveniles were arrested and cited and taken back to uh, and taken back then the, taken back to the parents and cited from there. Okay, okay. And hopefully you'll be able to chalk this up as maybe a lesson learned. You know, stay away from them young girls.